In the early 70s, I was the, the first heroin and cocaine intelligence officer in any organisation in the UK. So I've followed the drugs debate since the late 60s. Um, I've always been interested particularly in heroin and cocaine, which is what I worked on in, mainly in the 70s. Um, I've watched the debate frustrated about the way it's gone. Um, when I retired, I was always concerned the effort that we were putting into interception and interdiction uh, wasn't having the social benefits that people believed it would have. Um, and I thought there had to be a better way. And I, I support the National Drug Prevention Alliance because I actually believe that stopping kids starting using drugs is more important, the most important thing. And uh, demand drives supply. If there was no demand, there would be no drugs. And um, demand has, has gone up as cultural, there's been cultural change in our attitudes to drugs.